Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Britain Bassett in the UK. Is there a 50p worth £11,000 in your change? This is the news that some outlets have been reporting. So with such a high markup on a circulated coin, we thought it's time we had an investigation into this. So what is the coin? It is a definitive Britannia 50p. A definitive coin is a standard design rather than a one-off commemorative coin like the Star Wars 50Ps which are being released later this year. On the 50P, the definitive design from 1969 until 2008 was Britannia, the female personification of our country. It was designed as with the other new decimal coins when the UK adopted the new currency system back in 1971 by Christopher Ironside. Interestingly, when he was initially drawing what would become the Britannia design, he had his wife pose in the kitchen to help him out. Christopher Ironside's work with the Royal Mint was so celebrated that in 2013, to mark what would have been his 100th birthday, a commemorative coin was released in his honour. The design on the coin was the original idea he had for the new definitive 50 pence coin, with the Royal Arms of the UK. The Royal Mint had to steer him away from this design and towards the Britannia which they wanted to be the new definitive. So then, with many years of this coin being minted, what year is it that could fetch you £11,000? According to the news outlets, it is the 1997 dated coin. As you may know, each year that coins are struck, the year on the obverse or head side of the coin changes. There is one big issue with this claim though. The 1997 50p coin is a very common one to find, and really it's only worth face value, 50p. How can we contradict the claim in the news then? Well, let's start with the mintage figure. The Royal Mint keeps track of how many coins get produced each year. For the coins that go into circulation, these figures are usually published a year or two after the fact. For coins which have been struck for collectors to buy, some will have preset limits when initially released, and others will have an unlimited mintage and will be struck to demand. The final sales figures takes a little bit longer to come out, but they are always exciting information dumps to sift through. So how many 1997 Britannias were minted for circulation then? There were 456,364,100 in total. That sounds like a very high number, doesn't it? It is in fact the highest minted circulating Britannia 50p from 1997 until the last year of minting in 2008, making it the most common definitive Britannia 50p that you can find in your change. In fact, 2001 takes second place and there was only 84.9 million minted in that year. If you add up all the definitive Britannias minted from 1998 until 2008, that is still less than how many were minted for 1997. So why is there news stories floating around claiming that the coin is worth £11,000? We have to get into the source of their information, which is eBay. Now, although I wasn't able to find the specific one priced at the eye-watering £11,000, I did find one listed at £10,000 plus £2.25 postage. Unbelievable that you're expected to pay postage on top of that, really. It's not just that listing, though. There were others for £5,000, a few for £3,000, with new ones being listed. This is the crux of the problem. We see in the coin collecting industry time after time common circulating coins being listed for outrageously high prices and newspapers or other media pick this up and run stories as if this was what they're actually worth. We all know though that sites like eBay allow users to post pretty much whatever they want for whatever price they want. It doesn't mean anyone's going to buy it or that that's the actual value of the coin. The scary thing is though, that someone, possibly not a coin collector, could see this news article and then check their change and find one which they'll then be inspired to go and list at a crazy price too, which fuels more articles, perpetuating the craziness on and on. Or if someone sees the articles with the coin priced at 11,000 pounds and then goes online and can see one for 3,000 pounds, that's going to look like a real bargain. And they could end up parting with substantial sums of money for a very common face value coin. It just goes to show that you have to do your research before you buy expensive coins. So is there actually anything special about the 1997 Britannia 50p at all? Numismatically, it is quite an interesting coin because it's the first 50p to be minted at the same size as the ones we use today. 
Before 1997, the 50p coins were a little bit bigger and thicker. This explains the huge mintage figure in 1997 as enough needed to be minted to start to replace all the previous years of the 50p's which were in circulation and the larger older ones would slowly have been filtered out of our change. The obverse or head side 2 is quite interesting. It features the third official portrait of Queen Elizabeth II which was designed by Raphael Maclouf. 1997 was the last year that this portrait was minted on our coins and as from 1998 until 2015 Ian Rank Broadley's fourth portrait replaced it. So it is the first of its kind with a portrait only used in this year so it does have some interest but it's still only worth 50p. But are there years to look out for on the definitive 50p's then? Let's start with Britannia. The modern sized Britannia there is really only one year to look out for and that's the year 2008. There were only 3.5 million minted which makes it a key date that isn't the easiest example to find out in your change but saying that it's still only worth a few pounds to a collector who really needs one. Before the 50p got shrunk down in 1997 there were a whole range of years that are NIFC coins which means that they were not intended for circulation. In other words minted only for collectors to buy rather than be functional coins in circulation. The 1985 coin is another low minted coin. It was put into circulation but there were only 682,100 put out there which makes it a rather scarce coin to have been found. These larger 50p's though are no longer actively in circulation so you probably aren't going to be handling one in change but they are all fairly easy to come by at very reasonable prices. You'd be able to buy vast quantities of these compared to the supposed £11,000 price tag for the 1997 circulating coin. Since 2008 the Royal Arms has been the definitive design on our 50 pence coin. It was created by Matthew Dent and comes together with the designs on the penny through to the 50 pence to create the shield of the Royal Arms. There are also years on this which you want to look out for in 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18 and 21 none were minted for circulation and only put into collector's sets. So if someone bought a set or was gifted a set and then broke the coins out of their packaging choosing to spend them rather than collect them there might be some out there you can find. Although the chances of finding one are very slim but why not check if you've got the coins in your hands as they can fetch up to £60 to the right buyer. Sadly not quite £11,000 mentioned in the article but better than 50p which is all you'll get for your 1997 Britannia. Of course there are many commemorative 50p's out there which are actually worth looking out for. Whether it's one of the 29 Olympic 50p's which are an incredibly popular set of coins to collect and will fetch a range of prices depending on the rarity of that particular design. Or the Kew Gardens 50p, the rarest circulating commemorative 50 pence out there. This coin will retail for around £200 to the right buyer. If the rarest and most sought after coin is fetching that kind of money, a good tip is to be sceptical if articles or listings are claiming that there are coins worth tens of thousand pounds in your change, because if the Kew Gardens is only a few hundred it'll take a very rare coin to surpass that. So the 1997 circulating Britannia is not sadly worth £11,000 although that would be nice. If you have stashed away some hoping to cash in on them sometime in the future I'd recommend you reconsider that plan. If articles are quoting eBay or other listed prices instead of prices which coins have sold for that should be a red flag to you. If something is not selling at a certain price and has been listed at that price for a long long time it's a good chance that it's not worth that price to a collector. Let me know in the comments what coin you think is going to be next in the fake news stories about circulating coins being worth tens of thousands of pounds. There's been plenty of different ones in the past and we really enjoy debunking these news articles. So if you spot a news article with crazy prices then send it our way because I'm sure we'd love to make more videos on this topic. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, it's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also catch us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok, we have our shop and online store and I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.